What's going on everybody and welcome back for a new video. You guys have asked me many times to do this video and today is the day. We are going to create our own server and if you follow along all the way to the video I will teach you how to make your own cannon server with all the plugins that you needed for it. Now before we begin this video here I quickly want to create slaps that helped me out with a few plugins and the developer of Frontier that was there to tell me what not to do and of course our own uh, boy Aboji that is the developer on Frontier and World TPP, Ostia and so on and so on. All those guys helped me make this possible just to make sure that you guys are getting the right server with the right plugins with the right settings so everything will go as smooth as possible now before i'm gonna start showing you how to make the server here i just quickly want to make sure that you guys don't have anything open that might interfere with what we're doing right here meaning that if you have tried your own server it doesn't really work and that's why you're here having that running or something else having running that is kind of going to interfere try to close all that shit down uh, just to make sure that this right here goes as planned now, make sure that you have gone down in my description and you have downloaded um, two VinRares. One of them is the server right here. This is what you should have. Now, the start bat right here should uh, be a bat file. And I'm going to show you how to make the start bat file just so everybody can follow along. But this here, the start bat should be a thing in your um, server that you downloaded from me. If not, then I'm going to show you how to do it. Now, this is what you should have. Bucket, paper, spigot.jaw spigot.yml at the start bat. Now on the other hand we have another folder called plugins where you should have all of this. Make sure that you have all of this. If you don't have all of this then the, you did something wrong. Now when you're sure that you have all of this and both folders that should probably come in a winware that should look something like this. If your um, what you download doesn't look like this then you have forgotten to uh, download WinRare. What you can do, I'm going to leave a download link down below as always. And all you can do is WinRare. Now, if you type that, you'll see download WinRare from Rare Lab. Don't go to anywhere else than Rare Lab. Um, and then you can simply download it right here. It's all about what uh, bit you have. So you need to figure out if you're 32 bits or if you are um, 64 bit. You could go, go into computer, I'm pretty sure. Come this PC, right click and then properties and you'll be able to figure out if it's uh, 32 or 64 bit. Now when that is taken out of the way, I'm sorry about that, now we can figure out what to do. So it should have something like this. And then you're just going to put it up on your desktop, the same with the server. It should look the same when we're just named servers, uh, server instead. Now that you've got those two, actually I'm going to need Minecraft. Uh, I have it open right here. Alright, so when you've got those two, you have to go into your server. Now you see all of this, you don't want to uh, fuck with spigot, paper, or bucket. What you want to do is you want to click on the start bat and run that up. But before we do that, I could want to show you how to make your own start bat. You right click, go into new, go into text document, and you will write start like that. So you have a start.txt, nothing fancy. Now I'm going to give you a description of what you have to put in there. And that is this right here. You don't have to do this if you already have to start back. If, it, if it's working, then it's fine. But I'm just quickly going to go through this. So this right here, I'm going to leave this down in the description. You're going to put that into your notepad. You named stop. Oops, sorry, start like that. And you want to make sure that you save. Now you can close that down and you can change your T. Uh, you can change TXT. You can change that out with BAT. Now, when I do this, then I will have two of the same file. It's going to tell me, hey, mate, you already have file name. Isn't it? That might be common useful. Do you want to change it? And of course, I already have a start bat, so I don't need to do that. I just quickly want to show you how to make that. Now that you're waiting for that, you're going to go ahead and you're going to double click to start that bat, and it should start creating folders and it's going to say, hey, you need to accept the EULA, and that is what it did right there. You need to agree to the EULA in order to run the server. Go to EULA TXT for more information. Close down your server again. Go into EULA TXT. There where it says false. You're going to set that to true. Like that. Then you're going to make sure that you save it. Oops, sorry. Just quickly press save. There we go. And then you're ready to start up the bat again. And then it should give you all the necessary files that you need. It is going to tell you that 
uh, it probably already found a spigot, it probably always found paper, probably always found another uh, uh, YML file. Don't worry about that. It is just simply just telling you that it was something already replaced there, so we don't need to worry about that. Now that it's going around and you have your own server, let's go ahead and make sure that it worked out. Now before we do that, I could go to just go into direct connect, write local host with no spaces and join the server. There we go. Now if you want if you wanted to be able to put game mode in, uh, if you see right now, I, I'm sorry, you do not have the permission. You need to go into your server right here and you need to write op space and then your name. In my case, it is Dexter113. Now, as you see down in the chat, you should see server op to Dexter113. Don't worry about all the other things right here. Don't worry about that. That is for when I tested it out. It's, you only have to think about op Dexter113. Now you can put game mode on in and you are able to fly and do all that things. Now, the paper YML and the whatever I put in, the paper YML, the, I'm pretty sure it was the sp a bucket as well, already made it so you can you can cannon on your server. Now, if you don't want that, if you actually just wanted to like TNT flow in water and everything, all you have to do is start up the bat without having the paper YML, without having the bucket YML, and without having uh, whatever L YML I had in the start. Now that we, I'm probably sure all of you guys want it to be like this. So I already made all the settings for you. All you need to do is run the start bat and your server is ready to be cannoned on. It's 1.7 cannon, 1.7 physics, and that's it. So now you can go ahead and you can start making your own cannon. But to be honest, that is a little bit annoying, right? You have to make your own cannon. So step two, let's go ahead and make some plugins on this server. This right here is step two of your own server, and we are about to get all the plugins necessary for you to have welded it and all the other things that we're going to go through the entire list. Now, before we start, make sure that you close down your server, which is right here. Make sure you close that down so you don't have to worry about that. Now, this right here is your server, and you've got all these files. You have to, you have to look for a folder called plugins, which is right there. Now click into that plugin and you'll see plugin metrics. Don't worry about that. That is default uh, default plugin, so don't worry about that. What you have to worry about is what I downloaded, uh, uh, put up for download for you guys. That is these all these files here. Now I'm gonna go through all of them in game, but for now let's go ahead and quickly just say that this here, what the folders is, that is already pre-made configs for you guys so you don't have to worry about making any configs you don't, don't worry, have to worry about problems with max ticks and stuff like that i already made all the settings necessary for you to canon on your server now before we start go ahead and copy all of those or you can just drag them over but i'm going to copy them and it says that it would have a config yml i'm not really sure why it says that but replace the file and destination and we're good to go there we go now we have all of these files here. Um, now that we have all of these files, we are ready to go ahead and open up the server. Let's go ahead and say that was start that. Now while that is opening up, it should be decent fast. Let's go ahead and make sure there's no error whatsoever. That's quickly just making sure. Give me a second. I just want to make sure that this is not going to fuck up for you guys either. Gosh dang it. Give me that. Oh, there we go. There we go. No, we should be good. Preparing start region. All right. Now it's start prepare region. Now let's go ahead and open it up. And you are gonna have your very own Sir Cannon server with the right plugins and everything. Now let's go ahead and figure out what to do now because we wanna make um, a new world. Uh, so we're gonna MB create. And you see that you can create a lot of rooms down there, right here. Now you want to create a flat room. You want to make it normal. And you want to make it flat. So that is the command. It tells you exactly what to do. And there we go. Start creating a flat room. Now you can use the, the MV, oops, um, MVTP, and then of course flat room. Now that is going to teleport us into a new world inside your server that is completely flat. And it seems like I already died here. All right. Now that you've done that you can actually go ahead and check out some of all these plugins. So first of all, we have to go into game mode one. And now we can go ahead and we can check out, all right, does TNT explode? And we have to quickly make sure that that is the case. 
boom, there we go, perfect, it blows up, now we're ready. So the next thing we can do is make sure that water that works. So let's go ahead and set up. Um, there we go. All right, that works. Now the next thing we can do is make sure that the TNT doesn't blow up when it's in con contact with sandstone. Go ahead and place the TNT. Make sure that that doesn't blow up. Perfect. Nothing blows up inside this area where we have sandstone. Now we want to make sure that redstone is not affected by water. Let's go ahead and make sure that's the case as well. Go ahead and put this in. There we go. Not affected. After that, we want to make sure that we have the right sponge plug-in. Let's go ahead and place a sponge. Yep, we have the right sponge plug-in. And that is just about all of it. Now, if you want to be able to... There we go. If you want to be able to put in your own schematics, let's go ahead and open up the server again, which is right here. Push it, is it? Nope, that's one one. Here's your server. All right, great. So right here we have the server. And if you want to put in your own schematics, you go have to go into plugins. You have to go into the uh, folder called the world edits. Now, it should have a, a folder named schematics. If it doesn't have a folder called named schematics, you can go ahead and you can download, uh, you can make your own folder called schematics. Inside that, it should be my 100 stack of fusions. Uh, it's just a quick test. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to leave this blank. I'm not going to put anything in here, but this is just a quick test. So let's go ahead and do schematic load 100 stacker fusion. And you should see 100 stacker fusion loaded, pasted, right? Slash, slash, paste. Go ahead and go up and 95, pretty sure. Oh, okay. Yeah. And then do slash paste. There we go. Now, this right here is pasted in at Y100. This is 100 stacker, so it says Y100. Now, before we're going to go ahead and test this, we want to make sure that we have sandstone underneath the cannon. So let's go ahead and quickly do that. There we go. And we're going to set that sandstone. There we go. And now it's unable to blow up. Now, the next step is that TNT fill. So the TNT, TNT config has already been set to 20 blocks. Uh, so you there's no problem standard was like five and you kind of needed to move kind of far uh, but there we go i'm gonna quickly difficulty zero all right there you go peaceful great so now we have this and it's all filled we are actually ready to shoot so we want something to shoot at as well so i'm gonna quickly move this 20 there we go i'm gonna go ahead and take water on top of it there we go, perfect. Now, as you see down in the chat right now, you will see my broadcast is down at uh, my Canon's attacks on my channel. That is simply just a broadcast, simply plug in, I installed on the server. If you don't want it on your server, you can go ahead, you can get rid of it. It's very easy. It's the, the, the plugin is called Simple Automatic Broadcast. Just delete the folder um, and the jaw, and it will be out of the server, so don't worry about that. Now let's go ahead and fill this in with sand and we are just around ready to shoot. There we go. Perfect. Now let's go ahead and stack this up. And quickly want to make sure that this server here works. Now this, it's probably the same ticks as one shot and royalty PP if you played on there. And it's probably the same as mine link as well. Um, but now we're ready. Let's go ahead and make sure that it works. Go ahead and press the button. Let's see. Now, is this is a fairly big cannon. It's a fairly big cannon, so let's see if it works. It's giving a huge amount of lag, but it looked like that worked perfectly. And it's even a very big scatter, which is pretty cool. Now that we know that it works, we want to make sure that there's no TNT or sorry, sand left at all. And that means that it is the exact same takes as at least one shot and... Um, what is called i'm pretty sure where it has a psycho uh, so now that we know that that is the case now we can go ahead and we can implant all of our schematics into this right here into the folder and you can have just about any schematics you want and that is just about it guys um that's not really much more into it you can do a lot of stuff for this uh uh, server thing here, but that's something you have to figure out for yourself. I quickly just want to uh, show you guys how to get rid of the automatic broadcast. This right here is simple auto broadcast, and the one up there, you just have to get rid of if you don't want to see my 
uh, TNT builds up in turn full of repeaters and stuff like that. So I, it's just a lot of tips and tricks and stuff like that. I put it down in the chat here. If you don't want it, you can go ahead, you can delete it. It doesn't really matter. But make sure that you subscribe to my channel and make sure that you like the video at least when I did all this. Um, but this right here is my private cannon, uh, private cannon server. So I got a lot of other things in here, but what I want to talk about is how you implant, um, how you implant wall download. So when you have download wall download the base, you know where it is. It's in the single player. When you got the folder, you see right here, cut the rope. That is, I'm not really sure what that is, but anyways, uh, when you know you have your right one, you have the wall downloaded. It should be a folder. Now, what you can do with that is just simply drop it in here inside let me find it for you inside here when you go into your server where the start bat is um yeah start bat you just you just throw it in here with all the other worlds you see world and world and world end and then you're gonna of course have it at a name now let's go ahead and say that i wanna uh, implant a new world so i'm gonna go ahead and take one uh from my dot minecraft saves i'm gonna go ahead and say I want to get Dark One's old base. I'm going to copy that, move it in here. There we go. Dark One's old. I'm going to rename it, and this is DA, just because I don't want to write Dark One's. Now that you've done that, you don't need to reload your server. You go into your server, you write MV import DA, and you do down the base that you have, was it in the end or was it in the nether? Was it in the old world? You have to figure that out. My old base was in the end. So I'm just going to do this. Starting import of world DA. Complete. MVTP DA. Now we got our world down to the base inside our server and we can actually make a cannon and we can shoot it out. Now one thing you guys had in mind as well. Let's go ahead and quickly put it in game mode. You guys said, how do you make those big ass schematics? Um, I'm not really sure how you do that. So let's go ahead and figure out how to do that. Now, let's say that I only wanna get, actually I'm, go, I'm, I'm gonna go to the flat room because it's kind of a big deal here. So if you wanna make a big schematic, um, let me put myself in game mode here again. Nope, all right, there we go. Now, if you wanna make a big schematic, the first thing you have to do is of course, have something you can schematic. And you're gonna go ahead and we are gonna stack this uh 199 there we go now if you want to take a schematic of this you make your positions take out the entire entire thing that you want a schematic and i might have made it a bit too far now we good we good so now that you set the two p positions right here boom you could do slash schematic save and give it a name and and you're gonna do a test so test is now saved as you see down there and you will see that coming up in your server right here into the plugins into your world of the folder and into your schematics and you should see something called test now if you want to make sure that you did it right you can go ahead and do schematic load test and you can do paste and it will be here oops okay that is not schematic load test test loaded I'm pretty sure. Wait. And paste it. No. Nope. Alright. Something went wrong. Let me see. You're setting the two positions. You do slash copy. So now you have that in your copy. Now you can paste it in. You want to make sure that it is actually the one. And if you paste it in, it should come up with a platform. It's just a really big platform. So it should be placed in somewhere. Not really sure where, but it's somewhere in here. Or maybe not. Oh, uh, maybe in the same thing. Just made it longer. Probably made it longer that way. Anyways, now that you got the platform in your copy, you can now then go schematic save. And you want to name it something, and you want to name it test. There we go. Test is saved. Now schematic load test, and you got it loaded, and now you can paste it, and there we go. So that is how you do that. That is how you uh, save your schematic. And I'm sorry about the little confusing right there. Uh, but anyways, that is how you do that. Now, I think that would be the end of this. You can do a lot of things with the, um, with this server here. You can go ahead and mess around with the configs yourself. But this is kind of, in general, uh, how you did that. Um, but this is this right here is a cannon server where you get your own own server. You can actually cannon. And it's all the, the good plugins, all the goodies, and all the configs already placed for you guys. So you should be able to shoot 20 chunks. Um, 
without having to load up the chunks or anything else like that. So, other than that, guys, I think that would be just about it for this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed this video here because it did take me a long time to actually make. Um, and I hope that you guys will support my channel by liking this video here. And remember, if you have any problems with the server here, if you have any problems with the files, if you have any problems at all, if you have any questions, go ahead and leave a comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help you guys out. But anyways, I think that's just about it. Remember to subscribe to my channel. My name is Dexter, and I'm out.